Uh, almost 2016 hours away. We're counting down. But first, we got to put an end to 2015 as we look back, MJD, at the best quarterbacking performances of the year. We start off with number three. Rolls to his right, looking to throw. Nobody open. Now he's going to keep one deep downfield. And it is caught for the touchdown by Odell Beckham Jr. Eli Manning in this week eight game against the Saints, even though it was a loss, it was one of the best games I've ever seen on both sides for quarterbacks. Eli Manning throwing six touchdowns, going tit for tack with Drew Brees was amazing. He got everybody involved too, Mark. That, that was the best. Spread part the ball around. Spread the ball around. 350 total yards, six touchdowns, a 138.2 rating, as you see right there. What a week for him, even though it was a loss. Like you said, it was a fun game to watch as a fan. Almost as fun as, well, our number two performance. Baker Brees, a lot of time, throwing for the end zone. Caught by Willie Sneed. That's trick and treat for the Saints on the day after Halloween. The very same game. Uh, unbelievable, man. To see these guys go back and forth, throw the ball 50 times, throw the ball 41 times. I mean, Drew Brees is playing with playing lights out this game. They, they had the defense. I mean, it was unbelievable. I couldn't see. I've never seen anything like it. 50 times for 500 yards? Yeah. Wow, seven touchdowns. Yeah, most passing yards and touchdowns in a game this season for Drew Brees. Uh, and certainly what a game it was for him. A fun game to watch. But as enjoyable as that was as a fan, it doesn't hold a candle to our number one quarterbacking performance of 2015. Cam Newton pats the ball once, goes in wow. zone, complete for a touchdown to Devin Funches. Wow, what a play. Let's just say it was easy to feast on that giant secondary this year. I was going to huh? say, two, two of them, right? But this had never been done before. Someone to throw five touchdowns and have 100 yards rushing, it shows what kind and, of weapon. Yeah, and to pass the 300-yard passing yeah. mark in the same game. It shows what kind of weapon Cam Newton really is and, and, and that people should respect that he did this without Kelvin Benjamin. And I want to say Jonathan Stewart was got banged up in this game. Yeah. So uh, that guy, he kind of put the team on his back and, and, and kept that – Undefeated streak alive. Cam Newton, man. Yeah, what a season he's had. Certainly an MVP caliber season. Will it actually be an MVP season? Well, we'll have, to, we'll have to wait till 2016 to find out. But in the meantime, we're putting an end on 2015. Getting ready for week 17. Final weekend of the regular season. Will anybody top these top three performances? If so, maybe we'll add them to next year's. Yeah, he won. Three. He won. Don't worry about it.